Hi guys. Okay, so I know it's been like a little bit since I posted the last, but I am back with another thrift haul. This is probably going to be like a regular thing on my channel because it's what I like to do. Um, but it's been hard to find like places here in Dallas to go. I know I did Good Cycle last time, um, but I haven't had time to like go and look at other things. And I know Christmas season's about to start, so I'm about to be working a lot. And I feel like I need like a full day to rest after I get off of work. And then by the time that happens, then I have like one day to do everything else. So I don't have a lot of time to go do stuff, which I'd like to change that. But yeah, I did a little thrifting with two friends this week. And I found some, some goodies. So this stack here, there's three different stacks. I know you can't see it from this angle. But there's three different stacks. So this stack here is stuff that I picked up with my friends. And then I have a small stack here of two items that I got from a thrift page that I like to thrift from. She's like a big inspiration for me because I have my own thrift page too. And I'm gonna start posting on there again, but her vibe is just immaculate. And she has some amazing pieces on her stuff. She's located, I think in New York. So she has some really cool finds. And then I also have a few things here that I picked up when I was out with my friends um, from like Nordstrom and Aerie and like TJ Maxx. So I wanted to show y'all. Anyways, uh, how, how have you been? How's it going? Everyone else getting ready for like Thanksgiving, Christmas, that kind of thing. I know I haven't started on my Christmas shopping quite yet. I have like a few things here and there, but I don't have a ton. So I think I started a list. I mean, I started a Christmas list for myself and then I also started a list to buy for others. So I need to start buying a couple of things for that. So that way I don't have to do all of my shopping at one time. Usually I'm a little bit better at that, but this year just was not, it was not that year for the planned stuff. So yeah. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna start with um, the small stack, which is the stuff I got from Paige. It's called Seek and Select. And I've been following her for a while, like when I first started my own thrift page and I kind of found hers and she has grown like exponentially. I'm really proud of her. The girl who runs Paige, her name is Athena. She's a sweetheart, but you have to be very, very quick to get this stuff because there are a lot of people on her page and she does story sales on Wednesdays, I think. And then she, Wednesdays or Thursdays. And then on Sundays, she does a site drop, which is select Sundays. And I purchased some both. I have a few pieces in my wardrobe actually that I got from her, but these are my two most recent ones. So I've been into greens lately, which is not typically my vibe. I mean, you can see what I'm wearing today in my background. Like this pillow is basically like the color scheme to my life. <laughs> so I've been getting into greens and like blues, which is a little not like me, but I'm liking it because I have green eyes. So it, I don't know why I've like waited until this long to get into greens and blues, but I have one of each here. So it is this flannel. It's this really, really pretty sage green. And usually with flannels, I'm kind of picky. Like I don't like there to be a lot of colors. I don't like a lot of lines. I like it to be more block style. So I really, really like this one. I've worn it once already and I will definitely be wearing it pretty frequently. And then the second thing that I got from her page is this sweater and I am like kind of obsessed with it. So it's all knitted. It does say Michigan and I can 100% say I don't think I've been to Michigan, but I'm going to because I don't like wearing stuff that I haven't been to. So now I have to go to Michigan and I haven't traveled a lot like stateside. So that's like a next year thing that I want to start doing. I don't know if anyone else does it, but like the dream board yearly thing. I have one that I made for this year, but my life has changed significantly this year. So I want to do a new one to like reflect my new life and everything else that's kind of changed. That's what I like. I like to do it every year. It's like, I guess one of the few things I don't do a lot, 
but it is one of the few things that I guess is a tradition in the sense that I do in my life. So I'll have to share how to do that, especially because December's coming very, very quickly. So I'll make a note and try to remember to do that for you guys as well. Next is stuff that I kind of bought from retail stores. I don't shop retail very often. When I do, I have to really like the item because I do like to thrift it a lot. But since moving here in Dallas, I haven't had the chance to find a lot of thrift stores. So I have done a lot more buying retail stuff here than I have in like the last few years. So it's been a little bit of a change, but I don't, I still don't enjoy it as much as I do thrifting. That's like 100% not changed. But I've been wanting a few more graphic tees and all the graphic tees I have in my life, I always want them to be like, I don't know, show some sort of positive message in a sense or that kind of thing. I don't really do band tees unless I've been to see them in concert or like I know who the band is, then I'll get a band tee like that. But it's far and few between that I have. So this top is one that I picked up. I picked up from Nordstrom and it was actually on sale for like 10 bucks, which was a nice, happy, pleasant surprise because I was going to pay full price for it. But it just says Happy Place Wellness Center and it's got like a cute little number at the bottom. It says 1-800-GET-WELL and it's open 24 hours. I've been freezing, like actually freezing. So majority of everything that I'm showing today is winter stuff because I don't have a ton of winter stuff since moving over in Phoenix and stuff like that. Aerie is probably forever going to be like a weak, a weakness. I think they have some of the best loungewear. I have a few of their things and I've been there like once or twice, like after work and just kind of looking and I've seen this a few times and I didn't get it like two or three other times that I've been. So when I went there this last time, I ended up picking it up because I think it's a great little fall winter essential even like in the spring because it's like a really good basic but it's this really cute little pullover I like that the collar is a little bit bigger and kind of goes over it gives it just a little bit of like the preppy kind of style but you can also dress it up which is another reason I like it so I did pick up this one it's just in a really pretty heather gray color um, I think it was 30% off when I had gone but I feel like they always have sales going on at Airy. So I decided to get it because I've seen it a few times and I really wanted it. And then the next thing I got, I got this one from TJ's, TJ Maxx. And I've never really been into New Balance. I would like a pair of New Balance shoes, but I haven't gotten any yet. Um, it's this little fuzzy quarter zip. And it's just like this really pretty white cream color. As you can see, it's going to match the other stuff that I have. I have a little bit of a color theme going on besides the two first ones, like the blue and the green. But basically everything is, everything is this color. Can you see that? We have, we have specific colors that we end up gravitating towards, which I'm not mad about because everything ends up matching, which is a nice bonus, but I don't feel like I get to wear a lot of this stuff because I'm usually in my work uniform. Um, but when I'm not in my work uniform, now I have clothes to wear. Uh, starting on the thrift stuff, I guess, because I can layer all these things together. Um, I picked up this coat, which I know I showed you guys a white coat that I had gotten last time. It was thrifted um, from Good Cycle. I have another white coat. <laughs> Can we sense the theme going on with this winter? Um, this one's a little bit different though because it's like more of a teddy style and it's not as nice as the other one because this is technically from Shein. Uh, but I thrifted it because I don't agree with Shein. I won't like buy from them, but if I find it in a thrift store, like I'll pick it up if it's something I really, really like. And I also the quality isn't the most wonderful, but I do take care of my stuff. So it'll last longer than I guess someone else who kind of like is really hard on their items. But 
I wore this jacket yesterday to work because it was freezing, but it's this really pretty little teddy jacket and it's long. It's longer than the other one. The other one's a little bit shorter, but I just thought this would be a really pretty basic piece to have. And granted, there's not a lining in it, which I wish there was, but that means I can wear this with sweaters. So it's not gonna get too hot. Like I have a few thicker sweaters that I'm gonna be wearing it with. And even like something like this um, crew neck that I have. And it's not gonna be too heavy, which is kind of what I need because I last thing I want is to go into a building when it's cold and they have the heat like cranked all the way up and I get really hot and overheated. So this is gonna be something nice to have. The other jacket though is very thick. It's like a wool exterior. It gets hot. Cause I wore that when I went out to do the shopping like both days that I was out and it got so hot. I ended up carrying it half the time because, and I wore a short sleeve shirt underneath. That wasn't even like a long sleeve shirt that I had worn underneath with that one. So it's definitely gonna be a nice option to have compared to the really, really heavy one. And of course, depending on where I'm going cause the other one's a little bit nicer. So I can wear it to more formal type things or outings, if you will. Um, speaking of, I got a few, well, I guess I technically only got two sweaters. I'll show you the sweaters first. So the first one that I got, I have a love for cashmere. I like cashmere and I have a cream colored one. I have like a rust colored one, but I didn't have a black cashmere sweater yet. And I thrifted all the other ones that I have and I got lucky and I was able to find a black cashmere sweater. And I kind of like that this one has lines on it. Please excuse the fact that I need to get it like shaved and what is it called? The lint roller thing? Yeah. So, but I did pick up this one. It's just a really pretty nice classic piece. It's a size medium. Um, I tore the tag off of the jacket, but I remember how much it was. So the jacket, I ended up thrifting for $18, which is still reasonable but still on the higher end when it comes to thrifting. Um, the cashmere sweater was nine, so I paid $9 for that, which again, for 100% cashmere, I'm not upset about at all. And I did double check, always thrifting tip, always double check the armpits, the neckline, and always like sweaters, triple check that there's no holes, especially like for this piece, cashmere, I know they tend to, if they are sent to the thrift store for whatever reason or donated, I feel like most of the time they have holes in it. I went through all of the sweaters that I have and none of them have holes, but don't forget to do that when you go thrifting because obviously most of the time you can't exchange it or return it after you buy it. And unless you are into sewing and like getting stuff fixed like that, it'll just be like and a loss for you, but from me to you, don't forget to do those things. Um, but the next sweater I got was this one here. And I like this cause it has like the colors I like a lot as far as like the color block goes. Um, but it's on a gray and it's not super, super warm tone. So I'm pretty happy with this piece. And I kind of, I like the look of stripes, but I don't like the really thin lines on me. I just, I don't know what it is. I don't think it's flattering for me, but I like it on other people. So I like that this has a very brief striped moment here. And then like on the cashmere one, it's all one piece. It's not necessarily contrasting colored type stripes, which is not my favorite. So I really like those two. I guess I'll show you the other Shein piece next. Um, so this is technically, I think this is just a size small, but it's really big for a small. Um, it is a long sleeve shirt, but it has really pretty like face details on the front, like the design of it. So this is what it looks like. I kind of like this detail. I don't do a lot of graphics, like I said earlier, um, but I do like something 
in this realm of design it's just very minimal and I don't I feel like my style is very like neutrals minimal occasionally I have a piece here or there that's like a pop of color but it's not often I don't wear it too often so I feel like this is gonna be a great piece and I don't have a lot of button-ups like long sleeve button-ups in this style but I would like to start wearing them because I have a pair of what are they called like dress pants that I had picked up from they're conveniently on my bed <laughs> but I have a pair of dress pants that I picked up from Aritzia they're the Wilfred ones and I got the crop style even though I'm tall and I kind of sometimes wish I would have gotten the regular length but they're just like the nice dress pants so I think this and that top and like these loafers I'm about to show you I think that would be such a cute outfit with like a long coat I think that would be really cute for winter and the loafers I just talked about are these so I picked up these too um, they're a really pretty like wine color and they are technically from J Crew, and the insides of them like I whoever had these before they wore them not very often like obviously the shoes are worn on the bottom but the interior and the way they look in general are in very 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 good shape so and they're from J Crew, so they fit me perfectly and I don't really own any any shoes like this yet so I'm pretty excited to have these have these in my wardrobe and they're still with like the brown family so I could feel like they could definitely go with a lot of the darker beige kind of family realm and then I also have the pants in a white too and I think this these with a pair of the white pants would also look really nice together so I'm very excited to wear these out during the winter time because I feel like this is very winter -y esque type so we'll see what I come up with for Christmas time for outfits <laughs> um, I only have a few things left so I have these the color that's what I'm talking about um, I was so excited to find this this was a very last minute find um, it was behind the counter when I was checking out actually so it's not something I went in with an intention of finding which I feel like is the whole premise of when you go thrifting but I was very excited when I did find it it is this really pretty neutral little vintage coach bag and I know like the shape of this like this crescent style is definitely coming back in style um, I work for LV Louie and I know they just came out with a bag or two that's in like this style well, they've had one, but they've recently came out with another one and it's larger, but it is in this shape and I love this shape, but I love it even more because this one is in leather and it's a vintage piece and the inside you still have the little stamp that they used to do on all of their bags and it's made in the US. So I'm pretty excited to find this piece. I paid $35, which again for a vintage coach like this with like the stamp in it still and everything is a really good price, but I don't have anything like this yet. I own two or three other vintage coach bags and the quality on them is absolutely amazing because you can just feel how soft and supple like the leather is. And another thing I like about this one is it has gold hardware because I don't ever wear silver, I only wear gold. So it's gonna kind of match all of my jewelry and accessories and etc. So very, very excited to have found this piece. Definitely out of the whole haul. I know I haven't shown you guys the rest of it yet. I think that might have been my favorite piece that I found in a long time. Um, the rest of it, I will go for this one next. So. I know I showed you guys the green, the sage green one. I literally only have one other flannel and it's the same kind of style, but it's in a, like a yellow, like a smiley face yellow color and white. And so now I have the sage green and white. And then when I was checking out, like walking up to the line, I found this one 
and it's just this really pretty beige and white flannel and it's by Gap it's a size large and then I paid eight dollars for it but it's like the most classic staple color you could have in your entire wardrobe so yeah and I know that people come out with like this kind of style every year for holiday and winter time and fall and etc but I mean I thrifted my perfect one so now I don't have to buy anymore this year I think I have like all the colors that I would want in a flannel already so my flannel collection is perfect with the same color uh, I have this H&M sweater hoodie and it's a really really soft like material they used I know that they like 90% I'm 90% positive that they came out with a pair of matching pants to this top because I feel like this was in the realm of them bringing out a lot of sets so now I'm gonna see if I can thrift whether it's on like apps or in person the matching sweatpants to go with this because this would be the most cozy like amazing set through the fall time and again the top most of the tops um I think pretty much all of them actually minus this one um all of them were eight dollars at this thrift store so I was very excited to find this one again amazing layering piece which also would look really cute with this on top <laughs> so I don't really do best often I only own one other one which I also bought this year and it's this one here it's a little bit nicer so this one is technically from buckle i've never owned anything from buckle i think in my life really but i just thought it was really really cute my friend kind of spotted it um when we were going through the store and i love it so i paid 14 dollars for it it's a size large so it's going to be really nice on top of sweaters and stuff and yeah whenever i don't want to wear a huge coat i can just throw on this nice vest because it is thicker it's like quilted so very nice basic to go with all the other basics and then the last thing that i picked up was this top it is technically from universal threads which is a target brand but i just thought it was absolutely precious it has more of like a bubble sleeve style but it is a quarter zip but it's more of like the peachy tone I don't think it washes me out. I hope it doesn't wash me out, but uh, it is definitely more on the peach tones. This top was $10, which I'm not exactly sure why this one was more than the others, but it's fine, I liked it, so I paid for it anyways. So that is, uh, that's what I picked up. That's about it. Well guys, if you have any questions or want any other thrift tips, let me know. I could always do a video on my experience on what you should look for going thrifting because I have been doing it for several years now. So if you would like any advice or anything like that, let me know. Uh, I also used to work for The Real Real and I've like picked up tricks here and there on what to look for as far as brands and everything. It's really weird how my brain works because I can't remember certain things, but I can remember like a ridiculous amount of brands. So if that's something you'd be interested in, let me know because I feel like I have a lot of knowledge on that, but not a lot of people talk about it, I guess. But yeah. Anyways, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.